Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK Vlogs or is it Food Review UK Experiments? That's sort of a new show that I kind of want to do. Anyway, today we're going to be asking the age-old question does cheese make you have nightmares if you eat it late at night? It's half past eleven. Uh, proof of that, of course. Of course I can provide you with proof. There we go, 11.33. Butter vision. Right, half. Half eleven. I'm now going to eat some cheese. Another thing I should mention, guys, is that I'm just getting into cheese. I've only ever really in the past liked melted cheese, but I'm trying to trying to get into it, and it's kind of working. I'm starting to like it, like non-melted. I've got Black Bomber Extra Mature Cheddar. They showed this on. Well, I've heard of it before, but they showed it on Sunday brunch a couple of weeks ago. Um, and they all really loved it, and uh, even though it was a, a very readily available cheese, so that's, uh, I've got I've got quite a big block for me. So that's obviously the small sliver of it. I've got a bigger block down there. Hmm. So, like I say, I'm just getting into cheese, and I can say that this cheese it's, it's called extra mature. It is very strong. It's not mind-blowingly strong. Definitely a gateway cheese. Um, I think the thing with this is it's really creamy tasting, and it's really soft for a cheddar. It's quite soft, and it's got these little crunchy bits in, which I googled. The little crunchy bits in cheese, they're like clusters of sugar. It's got that kind of consistency, but it's actually clusters of amino acid, and they just give a crunch, a bit of crunch, a bit of crunch. Yeah, it's really good. It just tastes like a really good quality, really creamy, strong cheddar. And it's nice. So yeah, I'm getting into cheese. I'm going to finish off the rest of my block. And if I do have dreams, I'll leave the camera by my bedside. Try not to wake Claire and I'll tell you about the dreams. Betty buys shortly. Okay, so it's been about 12 hours, slightly more, but about 12 hours since that debacle, since I awoke from my dream. And yes, uh, it was a sort of a bad dream. It, well, it wasn't a nightmare, I wouldn't as, as, go as far as to say uh, it was that bad. <sighs> but it was definitely a bad dream. I, I can't remember, it was 5.20 when I woke up, just before 5.20 a.m., and I don't remember exactly what I said, I don't remember if I gave any details on the video, but as soon as I woke up I uh, wrote it down. So, here we go. This is what happened. Claire and I, and also I should say, it's written in 5am language, so some of it is gobbledygook. Claire and I were in a shop. Claire wanted to look at some shoes, but she was reluctant to for two reasons. I, I can also barely remember this now. Um, she felt hassled by the first reason. She felt hassled by security guards. Two, second reason, there was a band in the same area, and she didn't want me saying anything. So she didn't want me saying anything to the famous band. Uh, we eventually went over. Seconds later, we saw Dommel Gleason, um, another shopper. I put quite a busy shop, by the way. Shook his hand. So another person shook his hand. Um, I went to shake his hand and told him I loved him in everything he had done. He didn't look at me, but he shook my hand. Uh, then this just shows how fucking arrogant I am, even in my dreams. 
I made a sarcastic remark. To be fair, this is his life, not a special event, so why should he talk to me? Like I do to my fans. I've put ha 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 ha, I'm arrogant even in my dreams. So I think basically in the dream I was, I was like, yeah, why should he acknowledge me? Um, you know, like I do to my fans. I, I, in my dreams I'm comparing myself to Star Wars actors, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shortly after we were in the car park. A group of youths, or youths, who we thought were the band, pulled up alongside. And the kind of band we thought it was, was someone like Block Party, Snow Patrol, you know, that kind of Brit thing. They wound down their windows. We had a bit of bants. They offered us McDonald's food. Now, I, I recall in the dream when they opened their sort of car doors, there was sort of McDonald's food all in the floor, and like, it, was, it was very messy. Uh, we, so they offered us McDonald's food. We said no thanks but they threw some lettuce at us. Out of nowhere, a young woman asked us who our dealer was. We were being jumped by her. They thought that we had weed and, in, and intended to rob us. We sped off in the car, caused some damage to a few pieces of the car park, uh, a bollard, uh, the odd mirror. Uh, we eventually found uh, a shopping centre or some such. Uh, we discovered that the clock in the shopping centre wasn't real. It was I do remember it was on like a sort of on a second floor sort of thing, there was this, this sticky out clock, like a globe, uh, on a bracket. Um, and it wasn't a real clock, it had a projection mapped clock being sh being shone at it. Da -da -da, the time was projected, project, projection mapped onto it. Uh, we thought we were being hunted, so came up with an obscure plan to film something with a different time on, so that we could slip out, or it was something ridiculous like that. Uh, there were small, m another thing, there were small memorial statues made out of, now this is the weird thing, there were small memorial statues in the car park, because at some point in the last sort of portion of the dream, people died. Uh, I think people were run over in the, I don't think I ran anyone over, but people were, were ran over. Uh, and so there was, in the car park, when we left, there were small memorial statues made out of cheese sort of sort of um, not melted cheese cooked cheese a crispy cheese and people had vandalized these little statues of cheese uh, it sounds ridiculous so maybe they were not melted <laughs> this is brilliant For, I didn't even know I'd written this so this is this is 520 a.m. me saying this so maybe they were not melted before the vandals so I'm suggesting that they were normal cheese statues, memorial cheese statues, that are only that big, uh, and that vandals had blowtorched them. Brilliant. Uh, went on for a little bit more, but can't really remember specifics, and obviously that's a sont, really remember, so you see freaks. But yeah, um, that is what happened. I basically had a bad dream, and it even had cheese in. Um, you could argue that perhaps filming this video put the nugget in my head, you could argue that, but I'm going to leave you with a final thought. The other strange thing is, I'll try and put some screenshots on screen there, uh, Gossi sent a pro proactively sent a message, I hadn't told anyone including Claire that I was making this video, uh, and this morning Gossi sent me a message saying that he had a nightmare about me. Um, I won't go into the details, but Gossi had a nightmare about me. And that is interesting that someone, someone associated with food review, obviously very heavily, had a nightmare specifically about me on the day that I eat cheese to see if it caused nightmares. Is that spooky? I don't, Gossie and I have known each other for sort of 15, 15 years, something like that. And I don't, maybe he said he's dreamt about me before, but it's a bit of a coincidence that he specifically had a nightmare about me on the same day that I ate cheese to see if eating cheese caused nightmares. And yes, okay, maybe it didn't cause one for me, although it did cause a bad dream. <sighs> but isn't that a bit weird? I'm sure some of you who believe in the occult or ghosts, the supernatural, may find that very odd. I don't, but I think it's very interesting and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a, something a little bit different than the normal affair on Food Review UK. If you're new, do subscribe for more because maybe we'll do some more irreverent videos like this. And if you're not new, if you're a subscriber, why don't you check out our Instagram account at Fratgram and our other videos on the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.